1919 was a year of strikes, struggles and Soviets. As 1919 began, working class people in Britain looked forward to leaving the Great War behind them and rebuilding their lives. They expected a better society than the one they had endured before the war. Their Prime Minister, David Lloyd George, had promised a land fit for heroes to live in and had just led his Tory-dominated coalition to a landslide victory in a general election called at short notice to cash in on armistice euphoria. But Labour had polled well in that election and was growing stronger. Trade unionists were ready to resume their great unrest, the wave of strikes for better wages and conditions that had begun in 1911 and paused when war started in August 1914. Workplace activists had gained confidence during the war from pursuing industrial struggles when their union leaders had refused to. But Labour's 20% of the vote won it just 8% of Parliament seats and the 57 Labour MPs were mostly Conservative trade union officials committed more to maintaining respectability than to advancing working class interests. Lloyd George had promised much as he wooed Britain's new working class voters in 1918. But before long, in the words of communist Wal Hannington, his slogans and soundbites rang like bitter mockery in the ears of the men who had come from the bloody battlefields only to be cast onto the industrial scrap heap of capitalism and to see increasing privation for themselves and their families. The year ahead would see a huge wave of working class struggles in Britain and around the world. There were mutinies by soldiers, strikes by workers and rebellions in colonies. There were even places where the working class rose to political power. But in all but one case, that power was brutally defeated by the old order and the one exception, Russia, was isolated, invaded and starved. Workers won victories as well as suffering defeats, but did not overthrow the oppressive system they lived under and create a better one. Could they have won more? What went right and what went wrong? What does the experience of 1919 tell us about our struggles and our prospects in 2019? You can read more about 1919 in this pamphlet. You can buy it or read more about the year's events at this web address. And for daily tweets throughout the year, please follow OTD1919 on Twitter. Please like this video and please subscribe to this channel.